Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Did I now possess the zombie or what did I do? Um, how can I get out of here? That is not something I wanted to do. I wanted to hit it. <laughs> Jesus. Um... Hello everyone, I'm Boiler and I welcome you to this episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And actually we are now in 1.19. And I somehow killed a leaf block it seems. Um, yeah, we are in 1.19 here, but this is obviously not a 1.19 uh, biome here. Um, what I want to do today is I want to make a little transitional episode. So we are standing in a newly generated version of my survival world here. Um, and I just wanted to show you how the uh, update affected that exact world because, well, on the surface it absolutely didn't. It looks exactly the same and I can show you that this is actually in fact 1.19 here. So, and this is a newly generated world and it looks exactly the same as the one we are playing currently. May there might be a slight detail, like a few blocks more or less here and there, but Overall, the mountain is there, the lava lake is there, even the little uh, valley where we built our first start cave uh, is there. Um, it seems the animal spawns are pretty much spot on the same. There is horses and sheep over here. There's donkeys or something up there. There's cows and pigs. It looks exactly like like it does in 1.18. So I don't see any difference above ground. Even the village is there over, over there. So everything seems to be uh, the same here. Uh, even down to the uh, underground generation, except for, for one, uh, a few caves down there that have skulk stuff in them. But we'll go and have a look at that right now. So uh, we'll switch to spectator uh, and go have a look at that. So... So we'll then hop, uh, after this short introduction here, we'll hop into the survival world and actually reload that in uh, 1.19 and see what happens. So as you can see, this is the uh, hollow mountain here that we all know and love, obviously. And uh, that's where our uh, wheat farm is. Over there is the entrance and there's a lot of monsters here, but I'm not interested in that. I want to go down and have a look at the... Um, cave where we built our base. So the geode is up there in the ceiling. That's the cave uh, where we have the uh, nether gate with the lava like that I started building in the last episode. Uh, we do have obviously our uh, base area over here where I had the little um, crafting and storage corner here for a long while and the storage room now is over here in this uh, chunk of rock over here and the lava generator that will be down there in this in this wall here. So that's our base location. It, it looks more or less the same. I mean, of course, by now I have re-structured uh, that or re, uh, redesigned that. I got all got rid of all of the pillars. I got rid of all of that here. I built a plot platform over here. We have stairs coming down here and going down there into the underground. So that's all changed. But that's how it looked before we started building all that stuff. And we even have the water coming out at the same spots. There's water over there, there's a waterfall over there, and a little bit of lava flows there. That's exactly the same as it was uh, when we started here. And beneath that, obviously, is the uh, hollow earth that we discovered, and there's the skulk over there. So let me just reorient myself here. So when we discovered the hollow earth in one of the uh, early episodes, we came in here then discovered this lava like discovered that the cave goes on over there into a second cave with a lava like then of course up here we have this massive uh, plateau uh, secondary level and uh, once we get through here over the over uh, over there we get obviously to the uh, massive underground cavern with the pillars reaching all the way up to almost the uh, the ground level so uh, you remember you may remember that so that's the hollow earth that is still here there's no skulk anywhere to be seen here uh, but there's a little bit of skulk over there and we'll go have a look at that and I don't know why I'm trying to navigate these caves because I'm an inspector I can just fly through things so uh, let's go over there 
and have a look at this uh, skulk stuff over here. So there's a little bit of skulk going on over here. So we have some deep dark over here, very close to the starting area. But that about, that's about all there is. As you can see, if we go into the walls, we see all the skulk caves going on. There's a little bit here. Uh, there's a little bit more over here and then another bit over there. And as far as I can see it, that's basically it. I don't see any ancient cities down here. I don't see more skulk. I do see something interesting over here. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a real nether portal on the ground, but oh, it's not it's not attached to any cave. It's just sitting here on its own. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Anyway, um yeah, we don't really have we don't really have that much uh, new stuff going on here. So, uh if we now teleport to the uh, stone pillar location and have a look at that, uh, you remember the stone pillar where I uh foolishly fell to my death uh, because I was just digging too fast. Um and where we want to build our over overworld base basically so a little castle on top of that pillar here with the bridge going over but so that was the plan that was the plan at least so um yeah that's our stone pillar and that looks the same as well uh, i don't see any difference here it's basically i feel like this is exactly has generated exactly the same as uh as before and we even have the village over there and le even Small details like this little ca uh, cave uh, down here where the water flows from this lake, uh, from the big lake into the small lake. Even that is here. So, well, so far so good, okay? Uh, this means we can easily update our survival world and we won't notice a thing. Um, except I'm now a little bit... Sad that I generated this area here before the update came out because if we go down here there is actually a uh, Ancient city somewhere close here um, uh, Yeah, so there's a lot of skulk going on down here a lot of deep dark and somewhere around here I saw an ancient c city if the game does crash on me. So uh, where is it? Where did I see that? I know it's here somewhere. We have a lot of skulk going on and there is an ancient city somewhere around here. Somewhere beneath uh, this location is an ancient city. We just need to uh, re relocate it, uh, basically. So where is it? Where are you hiding? Let me see. Where the hell am I? I need to uh, need to orient myself here. So um, yeah, we are losing the uh, night vision effect. Nice. So where am I? I'm completely in the wrong location. I think I need to get over there. So now I lost the night vision, which means we won't see a thing if we go down there. Is that right? Yeah, we won't. We won't see a freaking thing. So <laughs> let me just let me just correct that really quick. Um. I should research where how I can get night vision um, basically uh, infinitely. It, there is a command for that uh, where we can have night vision just to look at things so that I don't have to change the uh, game mode all the time. So um, let me see. We want to have spectator again and go down. So uh, it was over here somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of skulk going on here. A lot of skulk is going on, and the ancient city is somewhere. Yeah, I see it. It's down there. I think that's it. Yep, there it, there it is. So there's an ancient city down here. Okay, so, um, yeah. Um, that is annoying, because we already generate this area now. So this uh, ancient city, we will not have that in our survival uh, world, I think. I don't think it will... Well, if you updated an old world to the Case and Cliffs update with a deeper world and everything, that bit underground did regenerate, but I don't think it will regenerate stuff that is already here. So I will have a look at that in the uh, in our survival world. So uh, it's just if, in case you want to have the coordinates, I will bring up the F3 really quick so you can see where exactly this is located. And it's almost directly beneath our uh, future or our planned 
uh, base, as you can see, which is a little bit annoying. So, um, yeah, and it's also annoying to get up from here because, Jesus Christ, that takes a long time. <laughs> okay. So while, while we're flying around here, let me just quickly check out this over here because that looks interesting. Okay, nice. There's a nice cave over here. Where is that exactly? Yeah, it's here in the uh, in the mountain. Underneath this big mountain. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you can see the ancient city is somewhere in this mountain here, and there is our uh, planned base, which means uh, we will we will not have that in our survival world, I guess. We'll have we'll go and have a look at that. I didn't have a look at it. We, I didn't up, uh, update it right uh, until now. We'll do that together. Um, yeah, so we'll stay here and quickly, yeah, we'll leave my character here, I will go uh, save and quit the title, and then we'll do it. We'll update our survival world, hopefully it will not go horribly wrong, and I, I feel like since 1.19 generating and saving takes longer, but I, that might just be, uh, I don't know, just it might just be me. So if we go to 1.18, let's play. I'm now curious. It doesn't. It doesn't even warn me that this is an old version. So okay, we are now in one point. We are now in one point uh, nineteen. I think. Are we? Oh, it, wrong button there. So yeah, we are in one point nineteen. We updated the world. I'm now curious to see where the hell uh, we can find these biomes. So I have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I don't want to have. Uh, this is our toolbox. This is the uh, uh, this is the other box. Let me actually put that into the ender chest here, just for a moment. Uh, should, there shouldn't anything happen to it, but um, um, I will switch to a uh, spectator mode and creative mode, so I'm not really too keen about taking stuff with me. Putting an ender chest into an ender chest is that a good idea? Netherite sword, yeah, let me just put everything in here, just in case. <laughs> just in case, okay, so where are we? Where the hell? So we have some blocks here. Uh, then we have, yeah, we have dirt. Where do we have the dirt? We have a dirt box somewhere. We do have a dirt box somewhere. There, there we have a dirt box, so let's get that stuff in there. Uh, nice. So we have slime balls. I killed some slimes, apparently. Uh, don't even remember that. So we have some more buckets. Where's my toolbox? My toolbox is right here. So we'll put the buckets in there. Uh, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's storming out there, whatever. So we have gold in here. We don't need the rotten flesh, we can get rid of that as well. So, and then I will put all, I will just put all my stuff in there. So, uh, yeah. Just in case, I'm not really trusting Minecraft to uh, remember everything I had when I switched to another mode. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll just put all of that away. So, we don't need that, we don't need that. So, did I put it in? No, I didn't. So, now I'm completely... Well, not naked, but I'm completely uh, out of inventory. Now let's switch game mode. Um, keep, I keep pressing the wrong button there. Um, uh, no creative first. Creative. Because I want to have a, a night vision potion here. Where is it? Night vision. So let's... Chuck that down. Let's switch game mode again. Uh, to spectator. So now let's go check that out. So um, we should. There's a slime somewhere. Yeah, there's a big. There's big slimes up here. What the hell? Why do you spawn now that I? Ah, I don't have my weapons and stuff with me. Yeah, whatever. So, okay, now we are down here and... Uh, yeah, that's where we came down and in the new... Let me see here. In the new version we have all the skulk stuff going on over here and we have nothing here as I expected. So, um, if we teleport... Uh, TP 
Oh, minus 19. Oh, what the hell? Did I press numlock? Apparently I did. If we teleport to uh, our stone pillar, it is raining, snowing, whatever. So, yeah, we had the... Um, we had the uh, the ancient city down there, and I'm pretty sure it's not here uh, because that these chunks were already generated. Yeah, there's no, absolutely no skulk uh, every, anywhere, and no ancient cities and nothing. Yeah, this is the the cave that we had a look at with the waterfall. Yeah, just uh, towards the end of uh, before we switch to the other to the to the survival world. And if I look down here, there's nothing. No, no ancient city, no deep dark, nothing. So that's a little bit of a uh, of a bummer, of course. No, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pondering the question. Can I? There, I mean, there's so many tools for Minecraft. I'm sure we can get a tool where we can just basically uh, delete these chunks that were already generated. And then go here again and regenerate that stuff. That should be possible. I have to do some research on that because I really, I'm really, I really want to do that. I want that ancient city close to a, to a plant based location because that would be really cool. What would be even cooler actually? Uh, so the ancient city were, was down there somewhere, and another base location that I considered was actually over here. I think behind exactly behind these mountains here. Yeah, it's right there. That's the other base location that I considered when I was first looking at this world. So we have this uh, this hill over here. Okay, that was the other base location. Actually, we might even build both. That would be really cool because we can see the, the stone pillar over there and we can see that one from over there. So that would be really cool to have another base over here. And what's even cooler is if we go straight down from here, we have this little cave. And then we drop down into this little cave. <laughs> As you can see, that's pretty cool actually. And we have a massive opening for that cave here on the side of the mountain. So that is a pretty awesome location here to build something really cool. So I, I would really like to do that. Um, so I don't want to get rid of the world. Um, I want to keep the progress. I want to play in this world. But of course, I want to get this, the skulk stuff. So I really, I'm really considering deleting these generated chunks and then regenerating them. Uh, basically, yeah, because we weren't here, we weren't here before, so we could easily just delete all that stuff and then just step to the nether portal again and uh, yeah, then we would regenerate everything with the um, with the um, new stuff that we got. At least that's the theory. I don't know if it will work or if it will horribly break everything, but uh, that's the theory at least. So I might, I might try that actually. So let's see if we go back. Um, TP zero to spawn. Let's see how close do we have the closest um, biomes, the closest um, new biomes. So let's let's have a look at that. Locate. Biome. Then we'll have uh, ancient city. Let's see where that is. It's actually not that far away. It's actually not that far away. One thousand blocks, and where was it? One thousand blocks and six hundred and twenty-five in another direction. Okay. Do I want to go there and generate that area? Actually, let's let's go there. Let's go there and check it out. So TP uh, 1033, then we'll go above ground and then we'll have to, this. Let's see where that is. Where the hell are we? So we are in the Mesa biome that we didn't really... Um, how should I put it? We didn't really, did, um, didn't really have a, a big look at the Mesa biome. We didn't really go here. That makes sense that we would have an ancient city over here. So is that where we... Is that where we uh, will have our ancient city? We'll, we'll just... Is that the massive mountain over there? Is that... Yeah, that's the massive mountain over there. 
okay let me just remember so we need to go over here in that direction so yeah that's the massive mountain over there okay that's another considered base location so we might just be like okay since we wanted to build over here anyway at some point we can just go with that ancient city over there so let me have a look let me go and have a look on the ground there. Let me let me see what we got there. Oh, it takes forever. I am, yeah, I'm, I, I am um, on fast flying here, but it still takes freaking forever. So, so the ancient city should be here somewhere, apparently. So let's go and have a look. Ancient city. So far, I only see a lot of caves. And since we are in a cave, we don't see anything else. So let me see here. I don't see any ancient city. What the hell? Are we in the right spot? Are we in the... Let me see. Where, should, where, where did we need to go? Yeah, ten thirty three six twenty five. Ten thirty three six twenty five. Yeah, we are definitely we're definitely in the vicinity. So <laughs> does it just tell me that there should be one? But obviously there isn't one because it wasn't generated. Yeah, it just it's just telling me where there according to the new algorithm should be one but obviously there is none because this was also already generated so that's that's the thing here that's the, that's the theme so we don't get the new stuff uh in the cool locations where we want them so uh what should we do here that is that is the question now what the hell should we do should we just regenerate everything that we haven't yet visited that would be quite a task because I would have to uh, figure out which chunks uh, that I already visited and then try to delete all the other ones. That might be quite a... Yeah, that might be quite a bit to do. So there's the big mode and I'm, I'm not hoping that I find anything in here because that I'm pretty sure we generated that because we saw it from afar. We already saw it from afar and I should have drank another potion. I don't see shit. But I do see that there is no skulk down here. No deep dark. Except what is that? No, there is. There is actually stuff down here. Okay, so let me chuck down another potion. But I need to go into uh, I need to go into a uh, creative mode for to do that. I, th I think I see deep dark down there. I'm not really sure. It's too dark. <laughs> it's too dark to see the deep dark. So um, where was it? Uh, T of course. Then game mode. And then creative. And chuck down a potion. And then let's change that again. Game mode and spectator. Um, spectator, yeah. That's the one, so. Yeah, I see Skulk, I see Skulk. So we have actually, we have Skulk over here. Do we get an ancient city? That's the question. So we do have Skulk uh, somewhat close to our base. We do have quite a bit over here, so. Yeah, I don't see an ancient city though, so. No, no ancient city, just a lot of skulk. So at least we get all the skulk stuff, but I would have I would like to have an ancient city. Uh which apparently we don't but this is this is beneath this big mountain, is that right? At least we have that. We have that beneath the big mountain. We have a lot of deep dark to uh to have a look at. Yeah, that there's the big mountain over there. I believe we are yeah, there it is. That's the big one. Is that the big one? Are you the big one? Yeah, you are the big one. At least it's, it's the biggest one I see. 
yeah it has to be the big one i mean it, uh, that that thing is pretty close uh, close to our spawn point so yeah that's the one that's the one it's definitely the one so um okay let's go down straight uh, st let's go down straight through this mountain right here let's go down yeah underneath this mountain we do have uh we do have a lot of skulk stuff but just no ancient city so and looking in that direction i feel like this is the stuff we already had generated and looking over here that seems to be new chunks that are now that have now been generated within one point um one point nineteen huh so we have a lot of that stuff going on here. I just don't have an ancient city. Which is annoying. So uh, let's see if we fly a little bit in that direction. Do we find one? I would really like to have an ancient city uh, somewhere in our, uh, in our survival world. But yeah, I mean, I can still go and regenerate the, the, the chunks with the, uh, with the stone pillar. Maybe that will be, that will be the best idea to do that. Okay, still don't see any ancient city here, so I don't, I wouldn't get my hopes up here. So let's see if we can get a mangrove swamp then, somewhere close. That's the other thing I want to have, um, within reasonable distance if possible. So let's see, locate biome. Uh, where do we have Minecraft? Then we'll have... Uh, Oh, where do we have it? Mangrove swamp, there it is. Minus 62, 1100. Okay, let's have a look at it. And 1100. So, let's go and have a look at it, if that is really a mangrove swamp no of course it is not because it's something we already generated yep again this yeah and i think i know where we are there's there's the desert village over there yep there's a desert village over there so we would have a mangrove swamp here if we would regenerate this area here okay so now that is interesting um i'm really i'm really inclined to just delete really all the chunks where we haven't built something really just delete every chunk that doesn't have a village in it um where that we already visited and that doesn't have a chunk uh, or that doesn't have any structures from us in it of course we can completely ignore the nether because the nether hasn't changed as far as i know so i'm probably just going to delete yeah so we would have a mangrove swamp really close if we were in a 1.19 world here so yeah, I will I will try to locate a Minecraft tool that allows me to delete chunks and then I will just go rampant and delete everything that uh, hasn't been touched by us yet. And so we'll have all the new exciting stuff in our 1.18 world. Yeah, and there's our little uh, herd down there. It looks actually quite quite small from up here, but once we're down here, it looks quite, yeah, it looks like more. Hey, there is a zombie. Is it? Is it not day? It's 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 brightest day. Why the hell? Oh, what? Oh no 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 no! Ah! Did I now possess the zombie, or what did I do? Um, how can I get out of here? That is not something I wanted to do. I wanted to hit it. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Yeah, how can I unpossess this zombie? I have no idea. Now we have zombie vision here. Um, yeah. If I change game mode... Am I, am I still a zombie if I... No. No, I dispossessed it. Nice, okay. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's actually go down to our, uh, to our cave. Um... <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ, so let's go down to our cave and once I'm there I will switch to, um, actually I want to get rid of that. Uh, did we have a, yeah, so uh, we don't want to cheat here. So let's get rid of that potion so we don't have it once I switch back to, 
night vision. Okay, so uh, once I switch back to uh, to normal survival, so yeah, we are back here. So yeah, I will I will try and do that. I will delete everything that hasn't been touched by us, and then uh, we'll have some fun with the, the with the new stuff in the survival series. So let's see. Uh, survival, survival is what we want. Yep. So yeah, let's get all our stuff back. At least the important stuff. So. Uh, yeah, that's that. Then let's get that back. What do we have here? Water briefing. Yeah, we found that at some point. So let's get that stuff. Yeah, let's equip everything. Diamond pickaxe. That's the one with the silk touch. Yeah, we'll leave that there. And that's almost right. Yep, that's exactly how we want it. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll have to do some stuff before we can record the next episode. But, um... Oh, oh, we still have a, have a nice big slime down here. Let's get it. Um, but... Uh, not in the lava, of course, because we want the slime blocks, uh, the slime balls. Yeah, um... I killed the, uh, I killed the torch. Okay, so now the co the problem here is, of course, if I if I build up that lava lake, at some point we'll just have uh, less spawn area for the uh, for the slimes. But I might do a slime farm. There, there's quite a bit of slimes here spawning, so we'll have a we might build a slime farm at some point. Okay, so let's get back up here, and I need to do something. I have two. I have two staircases. That the main staircase needs to be this one. Because it's coming down opposite the gate. It needs to be this one, definitely. But uh, I'll have to, I have to have I have to look into it. Yeah, slime blocks, uh, slime bolts. We have quite a few of these, and we unnecessarily crafted a lot of uh, sticky pistons with these. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you might remember that. Okay, so yeah, 1.19. Uh, yeah, it updates. No, I love updates, but uh, it will it will mean some work for me <laughs> because I want to. Uh, I really want to update. I really want to update this world to 1.19 because there's so little change except the two new biomes, the deep dark and the mangrove swamp. And yeah, I want that new stuff in my world, even if it's not much, but uh, it's still it's still something. So I want to see how I can get that. Yeah, uh, so there's not much else that happened in this episode. We just uh, had a look at one point, the transition to 1.19. The world didn't crash. We're still here. Everything of our, all of our stuff is here. Everything we build is here. But unfortunately, the new biomes are not where they could be. I mean, having a having an ancient city. Beneath the uh, stone pillar location, that would be awesome. I need to do something about that. So let's let's go delete that stuff and regenerate it. Yeah, hopefully by the next episode I will have that ready, and I will see you there. And we might even go and explore some deep dark. I'm just not. Um, I I don't think I will take my enchanted stuff with me because I'm really terrified of the warden. <laughs> I'm really freaking terrified of the warden. So we'll, we'll still go have a look at it. If we die, we die. I will not take anything too valuable with me uh, for just in case we actually do die. So uh, yeah, we'll take some risk and go have a look at that. Until next time, uh, I wish you all the best. If you liked today's episode, uh, then leave a like below and uh, so consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. And yeah, see you next time. Until then, have a great time. Be safe, stay healthy. Bye.